Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India Welcome back to module 3. We are continuing the discussion on how to represent a particle in uh, quantum mechanics and uh, uh, we are trying to find out the analytical solution to the uh, wave packet dynamics and we have so far seen uh, if I have a stationary wave packet, Gaussian wave packet how it should behave as a function of time and as the time progresses uh, the shape uh, of the Gaussian how it is changing. We have seen that it is broadening and uh, the amplitude also decreasing. So, next we will move to uh, travelling Gaussian. The Gaussian uh, uh, which will uh, travel uh, as a function of time. Now, as I mentioned before uh, a travelling Gaussian uh, in this analytical approach I just remind that in this analytical approach I need the initial wave function initial Gaussian wave function at t equals 0 because from that I can find out a k and then I can insert that uh, function a k function and I can get the wave function which the wave packet which will uh, how does it look like at a different time this time dependent wave packet I can find out. Now, it is just one example with the Gaussian uh, function if we st if we start with Gaussian function we can uh, get this analytical uh, solution. But that th this does not mean that for every uh, situation I will be able to get an analytical solution and uh, these are the things which we will learn very soon. But so far we are talking about free particle, free particle which means that the particle is not experiencing any potential. So, previously I told already this is the normalized traveling Gaussian. This part is the Gaussian function and it is traveling this part is um, contributing to this movement. And uh, we, we have seen that uh, this is the envelope function and this is the carrier wave of the wave packet. So, this is called carrier wave of the wave packet and this is the envelope function. So, what we did before we uh, will first find out uh, a k because that is the way we are going to work on. We need this a k and uh, with the help of dirac delta function we have seen that a k can be represented as 1 by 2 pi minus infinity to plus infinity psi x 0 e to the power minus i k x d x. This is going to give me a k. So, let us plug that in this initial wave Gaussian wave packet I can plug that in and I can get this 1 by 2 pi 2 a by pi to the power 1 by 4 integration limit minus infinity to plus infinity e to the power minus a x square e to the power i k naught x 
you can remember that k naught was the average of all k. So, in order to get this initial uh, web packet, how does this web packet look like? I have an envelope function and then carrier wave. So, this is what initial web packet is which is nothing but the particle uh, in quantum mechanics. A particle in quantum mechanics is the localized matter wave and this is localized in space, localized matter wave. So, we should view particle as this. This is just an example, it can be Gaussian, it can be some other shape, shape can change, but it should look like this. And um, K naught was kind of an average of all Ks. So, K 1 plus K 2 plus K 3 like this all components and here because it is minus infinity to plus infinity we have to add them and then add the total number. So, that was the K the, the meaning of K naught it was the average of all this that is the and that is the uh, uh, K represented by the carrier wave. So, this K naught and then e to the power minus i K x dx. We will follow the standard Gaussian integral. The reason why we take the Gaussian shape is because the integration would be much simpler to deal with. Otherwise, integration is we, did, we need to use uh, numerical method to integrate it. So, I have k plus k naught x dx. So, standard Gaussian integral will give me pi by a e to the power minus k minus k naught whole square by 4 a. And if this is k a k then I will be able to plug this in here and I can get the wave function a k is I will write down the constants first. So, all these constants are going to be 1 by 2 pi then 2 a by pi then square root of pi by a and then I have this integrand e to the power minus k minus k naught square divided by 4 a multiplied by e to the power. So, we will place them and we remember E k we had a value E k and E k was uh, used to be this is the kinetic energy of the particle and the kinetic energy of the particle was given uh, previously. So, we can use that uh, E k uh, value and we can reduce this equation to following. I do not need to use the same. Uh, so, I can reduce it to plus i k x minus i h cut k square t by 2 m d k. So, this is the integration we have to perform analytically to get the uh, final wave packet. Now, if we look at this expression, the exponentiation, this can be reduced very easily. We can reduce it in the following way. I have minus k minus k naught whole square divided by 4 a plus i k x 
minus i h cut k square t divided by 2 m that is the exponentiation I have. What I will do I will just rearrange this one a bit k square minus 2 k k naught plus k naught square divided by 4 a. I have negative sign here then I have plus i k x and then I have minus i h cut k square t divided by 2 m. So, this can be written as minus k square within bracket 1 by 4 a plus i h cut t by 2 m. This is just tedious mathematical derivation that is all there is nothing very complicated here k naught by 2 m minus k naught square by 4 a. So, this can be used in this exponentiation and if we do that then I have all these constant parts and then I am I'm, I'm not writing it minus infinity to plus infinity and then I have e to the power minus k square 1 by 4 a plus i h cut t by 2 m plus k i x plus k naught by 2a minus k naught square by 4a. Then I have dk integration over dk. So, if I do this integration uh, what I get uh, I can simplify this constants and finally, I get 2a by pi to the power 1 by 4 e to the power minus k naught square by 4 a and within square root I have 1 plus 2 i h cut t a by m and then e to the power minus a x a square plus i x k naught plus plus k naught square divided by 4 a. So, I have this one divided by this 1 plus 2 i h cut t a by m. This is the exponential function we have and uh, if we have this exponential function uh, then uh, this this part this minus this part minus a x square plus i x k naught plus k naught square divided by 4 a. This part can be written as a multiplied by i x plus k naught by 2a whole square. So, if we do that then I will be able to get the final expression for the wave packet as 2a by pi 1 by 4 e to the power minus k naught square by 4a then square root of 1 by 1 plus 2i 
एच का टी ए डिवाइडेड बाई एम एंड देन एक्सपोनशियल पार्ट आई कैन राइट डाउन लाइक दिस वे इट इज इ टू दि पावर ए मल्टीप्लाट बाई आई एक्स टी सॉरी आई एक्स प्लस आई एक्स प्लस के नॉट बाई टू ए होल स्क्वेर डिवाइडेड बाई दिस टर्म वन प्लस टू आई एच का टी ए बाई एम सो दिस इज द फाइनल एक्सप्रेशन वी गेट फॉर द वेब फंक्शन With this final expression, once we get the final expression, we know we are interested in the density because the wave function is not going to give any meaning until I convert it to the density and then look at the density, how the density is changing. So we have got the final expression for the wave function and uh, we are going to check the density, how the density is changing because uh, density is something which is which can be connected to the experimental observable and when you look at the density um, so the, uh, in order to find out the density what we will do we will assume that again as we did before uh, 2 h cut t a by m equals b we will assume that and if we if we assume that then I will be able to write down the density in this following form. And the reason why I can write down the density in following form because I get this wave function, this wave packet xt wave packet as follows. It is going to be 2a by um, pi to the power 1 by 4 e to the power minus k naught square divided by 4a then square root of 1 by 1 plus ib and then e to the power a i x plus k naught by 2 a whole square divided by 1 plus ib. So, this is the wave function we get and from that wave function I can find out the density. And once we get this density, um, uh, we can rewrite this expression for the density as follows. We will rewrite um, this, this part, this part we have to simplify here and we will follow this simplification this a i x plus k naught by 2 a whole square by 1 plus i b plus a minus i x plus k naught by 2 a whole square by 1 minus i b. This will be simplified as follows. This is going to be nothing but a by 1 plus b square 1 minus i b multiplied by i x plus k naught by 2 a whole square plus 1 plus i b into minus i x plus k naught by 2 a whole square. 
So, this can be simplified further 1 plus b square minus 2 x square plus 2 b x k naught divided by a plus 2 k naught square divided by 4 a square. which is nothing but minus 2a by 1 plus b square into x square minus bx k naught divided by a minus k naught square divided by 4a square. This can be written as minus 2a by 1 plus b square x square minus 2x cannot be by 2a plus cannot be by 2a whole square minus cannot be by 2a whole square minus k naught square divided by 4 a square. So, finally, if I reduce it further, I get 2 a by 1 plus b square x minus k naught b by 2 a whole square minus k naught square by 4a square multiplied 1 plus b square. So, this is nothing but 2a by 1 plus b square minus 2a by 1 plus b square multiplied by x minus k naught b by 2a whole square plus k naught square divided by 2a. So, we get uh, this simplification and we can plug this in here and we will get, um, we will finally get um, this this form this way packet form we have simplified this part and we have will get this psi web packet xt equals 2a by pi to the power half then e to the power minus k naught square by 2a then square root of 1 by 1 plus b square then I have this we have reduced it already e to the power minus 2a x minus k naught b by 2a divided by 1 plus b square then multiplied by e to the power k naught square by 2a. So, this part will cancel out each other and finally, I get a simplified form of this big expression as 2a by half 1 by 1 plus b square then e to the power minus 2a by 1 plus b square x minus k naught b by 2a whole square. So, I get I get this final expression for rho x t this way packet rho x t. 
and uh, one thing I would like to uh, now um, so this is this expression this is constant this part the initial part is constant and then you have x squared. So basically what I have right now is the web packet uh, which is having a Gaussian shape again but there is a difference and the difference is um, if, if I had e to the power minus let us say some constant a x square. This is a Gaussian function which is centered at x equals 0. But if I have e to the power minus a x minus b whole square, then this Gaussian function will be centered at x equals b. It is just shifted from the center position x equals 0 to x equals b and that is the meaning of this function, this Gaussian function and similar Gaussian function we have here. So what we see here is that um, the, the center of the Gaussian is changing in this case and the center of the Gaussian will be represented by xt because it is t dependent uh, center xt is nothing but k0 b by 2a that is where the Gaussian center would be and we can see that it is if I, if I use the b value previously we have used the b value and a value we know that a value both are known. So b value was um, we assume that uh, b was so this is going to be k0 and b was 2 h cut t a by m 2a. So in the end what I get the center of the Gaussian is t dependent and I get k0 h cut t divided by m. What we observe here this xt is the center of the Gaussian, the Gaussian is now is, is shifting. So at t equals 0 I started with the Gaussian which was centered at x equals 0. Now at different time let us say at t time the Gaussian is not centered at x equals 0 anymore it is centered at this point which is xt point. So it shows that the Gaussian is traveling over time on the x axis on the x axis is slowly traveling and uh, center of the Gaussian is traveling and if xt the center of the Gaussian is traveling like this way then I can find out d xt dt center of the Gaussian center of the envelope is changing envelope function um, is, change, uh, is propagating. Now because dxt dt is finding out the velocity of the envelope velocity of the envelope is given by the group velocity that is the definition we have given velocity of the envelope in, in a web packet is given by group velocity which is now nothing but k0 h cut by m. What we observe here is that web packet that particle which is represented by the web packet is now traveling with this h uh, k0 h cut by m uh, velocity the uh, group velocity. I have observed that uh, the, the particle which is which started with um, a position at x equals 0 the center of the Gaussian started with uh, x equals 0 it is now propagating along x axis as a function of time and we have found that the group velocity is represented by the velocity of the center of the envelope and uh, which is uh, nothing but k0 h cut by m. So we will stop here and uh, we will meet again uh, in this module we will continue this module in the next session.